Okay, I want to do a real quick video about how to bias, uh, do a quick bias on an, uh, this is an EVH 5153 50 watt 6L6 head. This is the newer one with the uh, dual concentric pots for channel one and two. I didn't see any videos out, out there about uh, how to do a quick bias adjustment. Now, the proper way to do these is to get a bias probe. You can buy them through Euro tubes or many places where the tube goes in to the probe and then the probe goes into the socket. You can check it with a digital voltage meter. Well, a digital meter, you would check it with milliamps on a probe. They've got one that will even tell you the plate voltage. But anyway... So I got the schematics from EVH, looked them up online. I bought this used Guitar Center and somebody had pulled the JJ tubes, the original tubes out, I guess when they decided to trade it in and put some cheap no-name tubes in there, I, I imagine probably some Chinese tubes. And they just replaced the tubes and didn't check the bias. So when I first cranked it up, let it warm up for about, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes. Checked it. It was running at about 73, which was a little too warm. The schematics show, and they suggest 60 millivolts. 60 millivolts. And I guess that's 30, 30 millivolts per tube, two tubes, 60 is my guess. But right here is the bias adjustment pot it's R171 and your test point will be this resistor this one watt resistor R157 it says bias on it you hook your meter up positive to positive negative to negative measure it across that resistor and hook it up to your meter and now I'm running it uh, 59 it's close enough for now it was at 73 too warm according to the specs that Fender gives and that's it like I said the proper way to do it would be to use a bias probe check the plate voltage you can check the plate voltage by Go into one of the power tube, see where it says one. That's pin one, go clockwise. So you go one, two, three. Hook your negative to the uh, chassis and touch off on number three. See one, then clockwise, two, then three. And that'll be your plate voltage so you can do the proper calculations. But uh, Euro Tubes has one called a Pro One or something like that. Uh, bias probe that'll check your plate voltage and your milliamps but that's just a quick way to do it for now I'm going to get some uh, some new tubes get these cheap tubes out of here I don't know I, I may just go back with the JJ preamp tubes and I don't know maybe I'll try some tongue saw power tubes I'm not sure I might just stick with the JJ that's what they've designed the amp around so that's what I'll just I'll probably stick with that so that's it right there R171, that's where you'll do your adjustment. That's your test point. R157, one watt resistor. So it switches it by checking it with that. It changes it from milliamps to millivolts. I've been running now for about 15 minutes and it's running uh, after everything uh, stabilizes. It, I might bump it up a little bit back up to 60 but that's how you do it i hope this video helps somebody be safe when you're doing this only reach into an amp with one hand keep your other hand outside in your pocket or something so you don't get zapped all right that's it